Welcome to Informatica University Success Academy. Creating a mapping with Kafka source and Kafka target. A restaurant uses BDS to get customer insights. They use BDS to ingest streaming customer data and store them in Kafka for analysis. Using Kafka as a target has many advantages, such as high throughput. It is also capable of supporting the throughput of thousands of messages per second. Apart from that, it can also handle messages with very low latency. Another main advantage of Kafka is fault tolerance and durability. In this video, you will see how to use BDS for ingesting data and using Kafka data object as a target. This is the Informatica developer client. Let's first create a source data object. You need Kafka data object as a source. The next step is to select the messaging connection. In this window, select the Kafka connection. Click Add. A topic is a category to which records are published. Select the topic for this source. Click OK. Click Finish. You now have the Kafka source data object available in the physical data objects list. Let's go ahead and create a target data object. Create a physical data object. Name the new data object. Click Browse in the Connection field and select the Kafka connection. Click OK. The next important step is to select a topic. A topic is a category to which you will publish the records. Select a target topic. Click OK. Click Finish. Notice that the Kafka target data object is available in the physical data objects list. Now that the Kafka source and target are ready, let's create a mapping. In the new mapping window, enter a name and click Finish. Drag and drop the data object Kafka source to the mapping workspace. Select the Read option. Click New Operation. Click Add for the selected resources field. Select the topic as shown. Click OK. Click Finish. Click OK. Now select the source data object and click the Properties tab. In General Properties, click the Physical Data Object link. Select the Input Source and click the Properties tab. Let us enable Column Projection. When you enable Column Projection, it displays the column details of the complex file source. The schema format that you select displays the format of the complex file data object. Schema displays the schema associated with the complex file. Select Enable Column Projection. Select the schema format as JSON and click Add Schema. Now select the customer JSON file that you need as a source. Drag and drop the physical data object Kafka target to the mapping workspace. Select the right option. Click New Operation. In the name field, provide the name as customer details target. To select the topic, click Add in the selected resources field. Select Target, click OK, click Finish. Let's enable the column projection. In the General Property tab, click the Physical Data Object link. Select Output Target and click the Properties tab. Select the Enable Column Projection. Select the Schema Format as JSON. Let's add a schema now. Click Browse to select the schema. Now select the customer JSON file that you need as a source.
or to link the fields. The mapping is now ready to be run. Select the Spark engine for execution. Select the Hadoop connection. Right-click the Mapping workspace and click Validate. Once it is validated, run Mapping. Generate the streaming data and ensure that it is being written to the target. A shell script auto-generates streaming data. Run the script so that the mapping ingests the streaming data and writes it to the target. Run the custom data generator SH script. Now validate if the data is being written to the target. Notice that the data has been written to the target. This concludes the video.